dear friends. I hope you are ready to see a Lightroom magic in action. Do you want to know how from this good raw file to get this awesome picture in one click? I can show you. Look, first, Lightroom has this kind of settings. Basic settings, stun curve, HSL, split toning, detail, lens correction, effects, camera calibration. Uh, for the skin tone, the most important is camera calibration settings, because uh, you can change uh, skin tone in two opposite ways. You can add to the skin tone or more yellow or more red colors in each of these channels. Red, yellow, and here. Red, yes, and yellow, green. So, that's the way. Now I show all in details. We start from the beginning, from the basic settings. Uh, first, uh, I prefer a little bit more cold picture. At first, I'll do it something like this, but maybe a little bit more green. So, uh, then, think I need more lights. Uh, more contrast, of course. I like contrast. But um, if I put more contrast at my picture, I got two problems. First problem, I can lose some details in shadows. I have to restore all my details using uh, this adjustment shadows. And about highlights, it's too much highlights now, I can correct them. Uh, whites now is okay, uh, dark maybe a little bit. Uh, okay, 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 it looks nice. Mm -hmm. I think it's too much. Uh, another problem is uh, saturation. I told you about that. So, uh, about clarity, uh, I can add a little bit clarity, but not too much. Uh, vibrance and saturation are the two most in interesting uh, settings for changing color. Vibrance. If I add more vibrance, my uh, more soft colors became more stronger. That's not bad. And if uh, in, in this case I have to change saturation in another, in, in opposite way. Just do it more decrease. Because I add saturation for soft colors. And do decrease for strong colors. Okay, now is better. Turn curve. Definitely, I use turn curve by the following way. Just I remove all white points and black points from my picture. And in this case, uh, I can get um, this kind of mud at my picture, which looks uh, close to some films or paintings. I like it a lot. And I uh, change my curve by following way. Like its shape. Yes. Uh, this uh, kind of curve helped me to add more toning. Uh, and um, I think more, I need more shadows. I have some shadows. And I add more toning uh, to my picture. I show you how it works. And of course, mix split toning. Uh, about HSL. Mm, yes, of course, I, I can correct a bit with the settings. Uh, what about my picture? A little bit change or orange in the right side. About blue and aqua, a bit change aqua and blue, small changes. About magenta, it's only part of um, dress. Of course, I can change it if I don't like to match this color. Uh, saturation, bit, bit change red, reds, uh, orange, yes, it's, it's too much for me. Yellows, a little bit changed, yes, too much for me. And I hate too much green at my picture, always change it. About uh, aqua and blue, depends on situation, depends on your picture. Of course, I can correct. 
this colors if I need it because I add more toning later I show you it now uh, about luminance so not too much maybe a little bit for the uh, lightness to the skin tone not too much uh, the for green I think more dark better I think better more dark greens yes and for the blue I think more light looks much more interesting aqua and a bit a little bit yes about the dress small change I think it's enough and here maybe probably it's enough so and split toning it's very important um, settings because I always try to add some toning to my picture more warm uh, tones to the highlights yes exactly and I prefer brown skin tone for that reason I add magenta in the shadows and mix magenta in the shadows more to the shadows and mix magenta with green in this case green I can find in camera calibration here look add some green tones I think it's okay and then change all colors in uh, camera calibration settings yeah uh, I think more saturated and here nice you see how it works yeah yeah nice exactly blue primer in camera in camera calibration it's very very interesting and important settings look how it works yeah yes I think more cold the background it looks much more interesting and then small changes uh, by brushes I at first I take a light brush I put exposure to two and a half and shadows maybe 25 26 and come close to the faces of models we have only one model here and we correct some shadows okay good here is uh, maybe some borders of edges of uh, dress okay hands good here hmm, looks much better and then another secret I take another brush and use only white balance temperature adjustment put it like 70 75 I think it's okay and depends on part of my image and change flow and density and add some warm tones here oh, I think it's too much I believe this is enough to the skin see now I work only with the skin tone by the brush with the brush yes so for me only skin skin colors skin tone colors sorry changed change 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 all skin tones here okay great because I prefer more warm skin and more cold cold background yes and see how it works then yeah, put it here because it's all the skin as well at fingers at hands I have the skin done of course and I have to put it so let me see let me check it great looks great awesome and now look reset before and after how I can do it in one click okay need a little bit change here split tones good magenta yellow 
look nice, yes? I think it's Lightroom magic. Now you can see how it works and you can follow all my actions. Good, continue our conversation.